In July of 1764, the Wampum Belt Treaties were made to document the nation-to-nation -nation agreement set out by the Niagara Congress. Twenty-four Indigenous nations, including our Three Fires Confederacy, met with the British Crown officials to mend relations and reaffirm ideals of fair and voluntary land dealings laid out in the Royal Proclamation of 1763 by King George III. Previously, British tactics had included distributing small pox-contaminated blankets to First Nation warriors in order to weaken them. The annual Presence Belt, known as the Niagara Treaty Belt, shows 24 figures holding hands. To the left, a rock, North America, and to the right, a ship, the British. The gifts were to be given annually, and if the promise was broken, the ship could be separated. Later, to fulfill treaty obligations, First Nation Chief Tecumseh, his close lieutenant, Chief Nawash, and warriors from the Three Fires Confederacy in allegiance with the British fought in the War of 1812. Soon after, Chief Nawash led some Potawatomi north to settle in Georgian Bay area, the land of their older brothers, the Ojibwe. First Nation people became segregated into smaller lands designated by the government called reservations. In 1836, naming this area the Nawash Village Indian Reserve. Around this time, the Niagara Treaty's annual gift-giving ceremonies began to be neglected. In 1857, the Nawash Village Reserve was surrendered. Some moved to Saugeen First Nation near Southampton on Lake Huron, some to Neoshingnaming in Cape Croker on Georgian Bay, and some remained and tried to keep their lands. Our people were refused the ability to purchase the land which they had already inhabited, cleared, and farmed.